today's video is something a bit different because I'm not going to be trying to trigger your ASMR so this is not really an ASMR video I'm not going to be trying to give you any tingles I just have a story to tell and I would like to tell it here because something a little bit um, incredible happened to me um, maybe incredible is not the right word incredulous I think would be the more appropriate word in the sense where no one uh, believes me about what happened and it's really something that um, has um, it was very intense and very strong and I just want to tell my story so I want to tell it here to you guys so I'm gonna be still soft speaking to stay within the ASMR register but yeah as I said there's not going to be any type of triggering happen happening so I would like to tell you the story of my NDE, my near-death experience. It happened very recently, on the day I bought my car. I was with one of my best friends, we had just gone to buy my car, and as it was his birthday we went back to his place with some friends of his to celebrate his birthday after purchasing my car. I need to point out, for the sake of the story, that um, I've always been prone to vasovagal reactions ever since I was a little girl. So I was with my, my friend and his friends, we were celebrating his birthday, we were all sat down just chatting, when I felt the strongest vaso when I felt the strongest face when I felt the strongest vasovagal reaction that I've ever had and I've had some bad ones that have landed me in hospital more than once so but this one felt very different it was stronger than my usual reactions, vasovagal reactions, stronger yes, but also different in other ways. First I started seeing double, my vision was uh, doubled, I felt myself fall as though I was falling through space, but I could still hear my friends ask me what was wrong, but I couldn't move or speak. It felt I was ha it felt like I was having a brain aneurysm, and my body was shutting down. I tried very hard to tell them that I couldn't move, because they were panicking a bit about me just reacting like that. They were worried there was something wrong, and something was wrong. I was dying. So yeah, I felt like my body was shutting down, and I am convinced it actually was. I tried so hard to tell them that I couldn't move, but my body just wasn't responding. I couldn't move, and my time perception was out of whack, it felt like it was lasting for hours. And so for me, I was trying to hold on literally for dear life for what felt like hours to me, but I just couldn't. And I felt myself dying. I felt my spirit, my soul, if you believe in that sort of thing. I felt my soul leave my body. I tried very hard to tell my friends that I was dying, but... I, 
it was in vain. I, I couldn't. For starters, apparently I did um, manage to s say a few words, um, but I, I spoke in English and my friends are French and they didn't understand what I was saying. I felt that they were carrying me to the sofa, but at this point I felt that they were carrying a dead body, and not me. I then lost consciousness and I was bathed in a bright light. I felt no pain, no fear, no anxiety, an unconditional love, and I saw all the people in my life who I wanted to say goodbye to, and I felt ready to go. I had accepted my death. I even remember thinking to myself, so, so this is what dying feels like. Somehow I had the undeniable truth. I knew that I had just died and that my soul was moving on. Next thing I knew, I was lying on my friend's sofa. My eyes were wide open and my muscles were twitching, but I still couldn't move. It took what seemed to be a while before I could actually move again, but slowly, very slowly, I was able to move one finger, then two, then all of them, then my head. And when I finally managed to get up, I asked my friends how long I'd been out. They told me about five to ten minutes, which confused me because it felt like hours. I was shocked that they hadn't called an ambulance because I literally felt myself die and come back. But, but as they explained, it was they they thought it was just a vasovagal reaction, which is just a drop in blood pressure, and it had only been a few minutes. But obviously for me it felt like hours had gone by. This experience was very intense and has somewhat changed me, because now I know that death is not to be feared, that it's just a transition to another plane of existence which is full of love acceptance and serenity. Now I feel like I can live my life fully because I know that when it does come to an end I will just be going to a better place, a place without fear, without anxiety and just full of love. This was truly an outer body experience, profoundly spiritual and has made me view life differently, better. No one seems to believe me when I tell them. I guess you have to live it for yourself to understand it. But I don't really care that no one believes me. Because now I know that death is just like an old friend that is there to lead you with love to the next stage of life, but I came back before I could find out what that next stage is.